growing darkness is over now. The days are no longer receding, and the sky is breathing light onto the earth once again. I love this time of year. It feels as though a new leaf has turned and every new beginning feels possible and just within reach. I find so much inspiration in the growing light, and even though it's still many days now until the light overtakes the dark, it gives me hope and energy to continue through the rest of the season. This is my second winter living up north, and it's taken some getting used to. The days are much shorter than I've ever experienced, and most are covered by clouds and rain, but there's something almost familiar about the dark and the soft light that manages through. It feels comfortable, like home, as though I'm supposed to experience the dark the way my ancestors did all those years ago. This was my second Christmas alone, and though I no longer really celebrate the holiday with its original intention, it's been tradition to be around loved ones and family this time of year. But this world isn't really one of the old traditions anymore. There's only so much you can get through a screen, and though I'm grateful that technology allows me to live so far away, and yet still stay connected. It's just not the same. And I know I'm not alone in this experience. So I've decided that it's come time for me to build some traditions of my own, forged from the stories of my ancestors and the voices of the land I now call home. use the winter holidays as a time to check in. For better or for worse, there's always growth, though regardless of the direction, it often feels somewhat bittersweet. Perhaps it's just that change is so obvious in this familiar time, or maybe it's because the roles we find ourselves in on these days are not always representative of who we've now become. And maybe it's just me. But I suppose if there's anything to learn from this time, it's that despite the mud, slush, and chilly days, there's still beauty in all things. Sure, the mud may stick to your boots and drag on your hem, but the footprints you leave tell a story of your journey through it. The slush may keep you home, piled up in the paths you were hoping to take. But it gives you an opportunity for reflection and a change of pace that may very well result in new dreams and endeavors. If not simply just some well-deserved time off. And the chilly days allow us time to rest, to hold up inside next to a fire. In my case, with two wonderful dogs, giving time to catch your breath so you can begin again, but this time more ready than before. <laughs> <laughs>